In an interview last week, President Biden said that this country has to crack down and fight hate and anti-Semitism that is running rampant in the United States right now. And he's absolutely right about that. He continued and said that silence is complicity. So if you are not out there fighting back against the hate, fighting back against the anti-Semitism, then you're part of the problem and you tacitly agree with it. And I agree with Biden on that, by the way, but you know who took issue with this call to fight hate in the United States? Lauren Boebert. Lauren Boebert is not happy <laughs> that the president says, let's get rid of hate. Because according to Lauren Boebert, what she put on Twitter, if you get rid of hate, then aren't you just really getting rid of the Republican party? Yikes. That's, that's not something a smart person would say, admitting that you're the party of hate and anti-Semitism, but it is pretty much what Lauren Boebert said. So that interview that Biden did where he made these claims, Lauren Boebert got on Twitter and retweeted it. And she said this. When they say stuff like this, they mean they want to go after conservatives. Their tactics are straight out of the USSR's playbook. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what the USSR has to do with any of this. And I would love for you, Lauren, to show us what exactly you're talking about, because I know you don't know, and it would be fun to watch the smoke come out of your ears as you try to justify your little saying there. But let's back up to your first part. When they say stuff like this, tackling hate and extremism and anti-Semitism, they're really talking about going after conservatives. I'm sorry. What did, did you just admit that your party, the Republican party of the United States of America is the party of hate and anti-Semitism. And if we go after hate and anti-Semitism, according to your own words here, that means we're going after conservatives, you know, if I were a Republican, um, uh, 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 I, I, don't, I don't, you know what? I don't even know. I don't even know. How can you sit there as a person, as a lawmaker, you've been trusted by your constituents to go out there and actually fight for them. And here you are on Twitter admitting that you're a member of the party of hate and anti-Semitism. Like wouldn't, shouldn't your Republicans back home in your district be smacking their foreheads and being like, what, what the hell did you just admit about us? Like, why, why would you say that we are this horrible thing? Why would you admit that? Well, the answer is because she's stupid. I'm sorry, but that is the answer folks. We're dealing with people who do not think before they speak. We're dealing with people who do not understand the words that they are saying, the meanings that they are conveying to the American public. And the worst part is the Democrats still struggle to beat these people. Like that's what blows my mind. I get that the Republican elected officials are dumb as dirt and the ones that aren't dumb as dirt have to pretend to be dumb so that their idiotic base will keep voting for them. Right? Like I totally get that. What I don't get is how the democratic party still struggles to beat these idiots. We are dealing with the dumbest politicians this country has ever seen. And the Democrats still can't pull out victories in some of these areas. I mean, in all fairness, they almost did against Boebert last year. She won by 540 some odd votes. Sure. That was great, but come on. She is openly out there admitting that she is a member of the party of hate. Democrats, please, for the love of God, put that in ads. I am begging you. I am pleading with you. These people are serving you up the best campaign content possible. So for the love of God, please use it against them. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.